how does one create something if they are consumed by guilt of what is perceived as sin or they simply feel unworthy? Wow, what a big question. Hey boo, I am Valerie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're here with me. And this question was uh, left in the comments on one of my recent videos by the wonderful subscriber. And I'm so grateful that they left this comment because it is so widespread to have guilt or the feeling of having sinned or simply feeling a general unworthiness that affects so many people who deeply want to manifest but have so many of these fears around it because these are basically guilt and the feeling of sin or the feeling of unworthiness is a form of fear that is blocking their ability to fully recognize their own inner divine nature. And, and because it is so widespread, I wanted to devote a separate video and this is it. So stick around and we will dive deep into this important topic. Neville Goddard said, your desires are divine in origin. They are literally the hotline or the frequency that God is constantly speaking to us th through. The word itself, desire, the Latin root of it means of the Father. It is coming from God. There is, there is no there is no separate communication around desire. It is coming direct from whether you call it the universe or the source or the infinite or the mystery or however you refer to it, that is the line of communication is when you imagine something, when you have a desire. But for so many people, it the, the desire gets snuffed out very early or the feeling of deserving something or the feeling of being able to manifest something. So while a lot of you are already aware of what the difference between conscious and unconscious manifesting, the connection between your imagination and the effect that that has in creating or in bringing forth, in manifesting your world, your 3D experience, that this is coming from a sense of not being able to bring it all the way forth, that it gets blocked. So it's like, saying to you, do you feel root bound? Like a little plant that wants to grow and it's, it's pushing out through the starter pot, through the little holes in the bottom, but it's gotten, it's gotten shriveled up. It's not being attended to. It's trying to grow. And we, maybe you've, you've been there with me. I've certainly, killed off my share of, of wonderful little plants for not giving them enough water or enough light or getting around to uh, repotting them in a larger pot with a lot of more soil and everything else that you need to put in there soon enough. And before I could get to it, the plant was already choking and suffocating. And sometimes it just, it just went. And this is what it's like when you are cutting off yourself from your desire, from imagining it, from feeling deeply that you already have it. And 
it's it's not about a feeling of being at fault in some way, but it's a feeling of not deserving it. And that can come from so many things that have led to a deeply seated uh, fear or trauma or dysregulation of the nervous system that can't release the fear and it's going to come up again and again and again. And yet we know that you can choose again. To sin is to miss the mark. And as A Course in Miracles says, if you have chosen wrongly, choose again. You can make a different choice. And it's not based on anyone else's choice, but your own. This is your power to choose. You are the operant power. This is about you. You are that which you want to be. You already are. You are your own awareness of being is God. Your I am is God. And this is your natural state. So in a sense, the, the feeling of guilt that consumes us, that makes it difficult to feel we should have this desire. But it's in yourself to, it's already there for you to have it. This is the difference between choosing fear or choosing love, choosing again and allowing yourself to receive it. The biggest part of this is that you have not been permitting yourself. And now is the time to say, yes, I do claim this as mine. And I am happy to claim this. The kingdom of heaven is within. And you have the right to claim your desire with love. And guilt or unworthiness or sin is an imposed state. Not that God is angry, that we've been told we are sinners and that God is angry or we're holding ourselves really prisoner and keeping that feeling of guilt is keeping us locked up or shame or unworthiness. But your consciousness is that Christ consciousness, that pure love. It's automatic forgiveness. Or we're living in, in otherwise perpetuating that idea of being guilty. But that is not, does not need to be you. We do it to our, maybe do it to ourselves mentally. But that doesn't have to be you. It's time to say, no, I am just as deserving as of love, of experiencing love, of being love, of forgiving myself, of knowing I'm already forgiven. Otherwise, you're just steeping in, in guilt. So the guilt becomes more familiar than not having the guilt. But your desires are already part of you. Just imagining them, you already have them rather than cut yourself off from them. Love moves anything that is not love out of the way to make room for more love. That is the nature of love. It's going to push anything that is not love. So if you are choosing that force to recognize that you possess that divine force of love. That's an unshakable power. 
Florence Scovel Shin said, love is the most powerful chemical of the universe and dissolves everything which is not of itself. If you continue to come from that place of love and forgiveness and allowing yourself to receive your desire and the feel the fulfillment of your desire, experience that and see what happens. Let me know in the comments what you felt about this video about love, your experiencing of it, how it's changing things up for you. We'd love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Love you so much, Boom. So grateful for you joining me here. I'll see you in the next video.